Good morning and welcome <clears throat> to the first of two kindergarten dual language information sessions. Buenos dias y bienvenidos a la primera de dos sesiones informativas de lenguaje dual del jardín de infantes. The other one will be held tomorrow at 6 p.m. and will follow the same protocol as this one. I am Sandra Rodriguez Gomez, and I'm your very proud Assistant Superintendent of Schools. <clears throat> El otro se realizará mañana a las seis de la tarde y seguirá el mismo protocolo que este. Soy Sandra Rodríguez Gómez y soy su muy orgullosa superintendente adjunta de escuelas. On behalf of Dr. Christine Johnson, our superintendent, and our esteemed Board of Education, we would like to share details about our exciting and thriving dual language program. It was at this very time last year that we embarked on this communication journey regarding dual language and the response and support from the education and parental community has been just outstanding. So we thank you for that. I am happy to share that I have intimate knowledge of the five classrooms across the district, their teachers, and certainly most importantly, the students. I have heard them speaking in Spanish, responding in Spanish, and of course, singing in Spanish. Our program, as you may know, or will soon learn, is a 50-50 dual language Spanish immersion program. A 50-50 dual language program offers numerous benefits for students, providing a unique and nurturing educational experience. In this program, students receive instruction in both English and the target language, which in this case is Spanish, with equal time devoted to each language. This balanced approach offers several advantages. First, it promotes biliteracy. A 50-50 program allows students to develop fluency and literacy skills concurrently and in both languages, therefore achieving biliteracy. The second is enhanced cognitive skills. Research shows that bilingual students have improved cognitive abilities, such as enhanced problem solving and multitasking skills. The third, cultural enrichment. Students gain a deeper understanding and appreciation of many diverse cultures, fostering empathy and global mindedness. The fourth and most exciting, improved academic performance. Studies have shown that dual language students often outperform their monolingual peers in academic subjects. Fifth, increased career opportunities. Biliterate individuals have expanded career options in the globalized job market. Sixth is the social and emotional benefits. Dual language programs promote inclusivity, diversity, deep understanding among students, therefore fostering a sense of community. And last but never least, parental involvement. A 50-50 program encourages parents to participate in their child's education, regardless of their own language proficiency. Today, you will engage with a narrated video, which will bring you into the kindergarten dual language world and classrooms. Once the video concludes, I will be joined by the Director of Early Childhood, Ms. Kim Mara, the Community and Involvement Specialist for our Vibrant Preschool Program, who many of you may already know, Diane Milne, and of course, our K-12 enrollment, enrollment leader, Ms. Nori Velasquez. We're excited to connect with you and answer any questions that you may still have upon watching the informational video. Before we get there though, I want to share some parental testimonials from their experiences within the dual language program. The first, 
we are thrilled to see our child thriving in the dual language program. The opportunity for them to learn and grow in two languages has been just invaluable. The teacher is dedicated and passionate, and the curriculum is engaging, challenging, and important, this is an important one, aligned with the traditional kindergarten experience. We've seen significant improvements in our child's language skills in both English and in Spanish. The program has also helped our child develop a deeper appreciation for diverse cultures and a more open-minded perspective. We've noticed increased confidence in their communication skills, both in school and outside of it. Outside of it. The dual language program has exceeded our expectations and we feel fortunate to be a part of the community. The third, we appreciate the emphasis on biliteracy and the way the program has helped develop, develop a strong sense of identity and pride in the heritage language. The regular updates and communication from teachers have kept us informed and involved in our child's progress. Last but not least, overall, we are incredibly satisfied with the dual language program and look forward to seeing our child continue to flourish in this supportive and enriching environment in grade one and beyond. So now, that was a lot. Please enjoy the video and we look forward to answering your questions. Lastly, please note, many of you have already asked this question, please note that this presentation will indeed be recorded and will be posted on the district's website on Friday and by the end of the day. Thank you y gracias por su atención. Welcome to our kindergarten dual language information session. Gracias por unirse a nosotros para la sesión informativa de lenguaje dual. We are so excited to be offering English and Spanish speaking students an exciting, enriching, and challenging educational opportunity. The dual language program which was launched last year in school year 23-24 and in five kindergarten classrooms across the district is an educational model that provides content-based instruction to students in two languages. The goal for dual immersion students will be to learn to read, write, and communicate effectively in both languages while at the same time achieving high levels of academic success. Dual language students will also gain the bilingual skills and cross cultural competencies needed to succeed in both our multicultural society and of course, our global economy. Let's take a look at some of the benefits of a dual language education. The first is that students develop proficiency in two languages. The second is that students perform as well or often even better than their peers in non-dual language classrooms or what we call traditional classrooms. The third is that students develop a positive sense of self and multicultural competencies. And finally, but certainly not least, is that students will develop intercultural and global competencies that prepares them to succeed in today's increasingly competitive global economy. Here we've added some additional benefits of the bilingual brain. Research tells us that bilingual children have an easier time with the following brain functions developing strong thinking skills, 
understanding math concepts and problems, increasing their ability in the space of reading comprehension, which we know as one of the five pillars of reading, focusing, remembering, and making decisions. They have greater executive control for cognitive tasks. And finally, higher levels of social emotional competencies. As we were organizing what the school day would look like for students in a dual language classroom, we knew that it was incredibly important that we build a schedule which supports biliteracy. We will look at a schedule shortly, but let's first understand what that means when we schedule for biliteracy. It means the students have the opportunity to read and write in both languages daily, that they are engaged in meaningful literacy activities in both languages daily, that the biliteracy programs include explicit planning for the linguistic spaces, and finally, that instruction includes strategies for simultaneous language and content instruction. This is the schedule. I'm gonna pause here so you can take a look at it. You'll see a lot of colors. You'll see some letters in parentheses. The S means in Spanish, the E is English, and the yellow would speak to the teacher's prep period. We've done a lot of work with our five kindergarten dual language teachers and are excited to continue and grow that work with the five grade one dual language teachers who we will welcome in the fall. In regards to what the classroom environment looks like, we really wanted to ensure, I'll go back here for a second. We really wanted to ensure that there were visual cues for children as well as teachers so that everyone was aware of the languages spoken and where instructional anchors lived to ensure growth towards mastery. You will see that there will be areas of the classroom, and you will see it best here, that are on blue backing. You're gonna see these pictures shortly, and that means that English will be taught and spoken there. You will also see that there are areas of the classroom that are with a red backing, and that means that Spanish will be taught there. Additionally, there are parts of the schedule that are in yellow, like I've shared before, and that simply means that's a teacher's prep period. The blue-red model will define all classroom areas and anchor charts. As many of you already know, the dual language pilot program began in the fall of September 2023. The target language is Spanish. And if we find that the amount of families interested in the dual language program exceeds the amount of seats that we have, then we will move to a lottery system. The system will be managed and monitored by us here daily to ensure that it is current and active. And we want to ensure access to the classrooms for folks who might be interested. You may also be wondering how many classrooms and in what locations do these classrooms exist? Well, the Hoboken School District will continue to operate five kindergarten dual language classrooms, one in Connors, two in Brant, and two in Wallace. In addition, in addition to that, as was shared at this time last year, this is a growing program. And we are so excited to be ushering in grade one for the next school year. The dual language model, which we will continue to implement, is, of course, the 50-50 model. This model has been proven to be just as effective as other models, including the 90-10 model, for this type of instruction. Additionally, this model has demonstrated the most powerful student outcomes for both native Spanish speakers as well as English speakers. The chart below will share how we will roll it out in kindergarten for kindergarten students, as they will learn 50% Spanish and 50% English. And we will mirror that model until the students reach fifth grade. 
So now we're moving on to what does the school day look like for students in a dual language program? Here I am sharing a large scale programmatic overview. And it shares the type of model that we will be engaging in. And as I've shared before, it is the 50-50 model. There is an English language arts and a Spanish language arts 90 minute literacy block, which we will dedicate the first 45 minutes to English and the following 45 minutes to Spanish. We will replicate that model for mathematics. As you know, we have a 90 minute math block. 45 minutes of that will be taught in English and the following 45 minutes will be in Spanish. Social studies, you will note, will be 100% of the time in Spanish. As will the individualized learning pathway, which will also be in Spanish, facilitated by a Spanish tech platform. In regards to the kinds of assessments our students sit for or are exposed to, we will have Linkit, the DRA3, which is a one-on-one -on -one reading and reading comprehension assessment, which students will also take in Spanish, and that is called the EDL2. And then of course, content area unit assessments that teachers would find in their specific learning programs like Reading Wonders, Maravillas, Investigations, and Investigaciones. In regards to family engagement, we have seen that the kindergarten teachers follow the same protocol as our traditional kindergarten classrooms and really all of our K-5 classrooms. And that is they engage in very transparent, highly communicative and open communication streams with families via weekly newsletters or class dojo. These are really great opportunities for you to take a look inside of the classroom and see what activities they're engaging in. In regards to classroom environments, we expect classroom environments in all of our classrooms, but certainly in the dual language classrooms to be tidy, clutter-free and organized. We will expect to see word walls with blue backing for English and red backing for Spanish words. We have alphabet walls, both in English and in Spanish, Cl classroom libraries that'll house English books in blue bins and Spanish books in red bins. You will see a lot of this towards the end of this presentation with pictures taking you directly into the classroom. You will see anchor charts. You're going to see lots of labels and posters with photographs and graphic organizers and tons of other visuals to support different labels and different areas of learning as you will see in other early childhood classrooms. We will also be engaging in social emotional check-ins because we know the heart is just as important as the brain. And last but never least is the strengthening and the support of the homeschool connection as we engage in this language acquisition journey together. All curricular material have all been vetted and connected with our current curriculum and assessment partners. We have Spanish compliments of you, as you have just seen, to all of our current programs. For example, we utilize Maravillas for English, Spanish language arts, which is aligned to our English complement of Reading Wonders. We utilize Investigaciones 3 or 3 for mathematics, which is also aligned to investigations. And the same is true in our social studies space. All of our assessment programs are also available and accessible in both languages. Here are some examples of what those curriculum partners look like. We have McGraw-Hills Reading Wonders and then McGraw-Hills Maravillas. In the math space, we have investigations and investigaciones and in social studies to complement young citizens, we have Los Jovenes Ciudadanos. 
Here is an example of what the Spanish language arts block will look like. Opening with 15 minutes of phonological or phonemic awareness practice and word analysis, and then high frequency words all rooted in MCs or in Gillingham training. We have explicit learning objectives with many lessons, direct instruction, and modeled and guided practice. And then that is followed by 10 minutes of focus on writing and grammar standards in the writing workshop, all driven by either Reading Wonders or Maravillas. We have also dedicated an extensive amount of time to ensuring that we have the best and brightest standing before our youngest learners as they engage in this new language acquisition journey. We began with surveying our current existing staff to identify who among us were already bilingual or biculturally certified. We met with cohorts of teachers, we registered for job fairs, and we connected and made partnerships with colleges and universities. In regards to the teaching requirements necessary for a dual language instructional leader, teachers must hold one of the following, either a P3 certification, a K6 certification, or an N through eight certification. We will and have ensured that our teachers hold proof of their bilingual proficiency by taking the oral proficiency interview and the writing proficiency test on the teaching of foreign languages. We are very excited to continue our partnership with Montclair State University for our bilingual bicultural certification program. In addition to this, our teachers have enrolled in intensive professional learning and in professional learning both before the school year, during the school year, and certainly in the summer months after the school year. The purpose of which is to grow and refine their practice. This is the same professional development model enjoyed by all of our teachers, those specifically in the traditional classroom setting. This is a very important question. How do I gain access into the program? Well, we agree it is a very dynamic language, a dual language program. And we're excited to share that, as you know, it begins in kindergarten and each year an additional grade will be added. While we will not permit entry into our dual language programming grades two through five, we will allow for new entries to fill any open seat in grade one. We will be doing this work shortly as our current kindergartners are so anxious and so ready to rise to first grade. Super exciting times indeed. You know, sometimes families are concerned and want to know what if my child is in the program and is just not grasping the content. Well, we want you to feel good about the fact that if we find in partnership that your child is experiencing challenges in this program, we're gonna engage in dialogue with you to determine what additional supports are needed or if a movement to a traditional classroom is an option. But understand that if the dual language program is not for your child, there will not, I repeat, there will not be a need to transfer to another school. You will simply move within classrooms from your current school, be that Connors, be that Brandt, or be that Wallace. This is another very popular question that we're getting a lot of at this time of year and certainly had at this time of year last year. And that is, what are the supports for parents if parents are not Spanish speaking? Well, trust us, this will not be a problem. 
we will be able to engage with you and your child regarding the lessons and skills that they're learning. The main learning in Spanish will definitely occur with the classroom teacher and while the child is in school. Homework support will be provided for the family in unique and creative ways and certainly developmentally appropriate ones. We will continue to, as I've shared in the past, communicate via weekly newsletters, emails, class dojo. It is our ultimate goal to continue to be as transparent with the parents that are joining us in this dual language journey as we are with those that are in our traditional classroom setting. Parental communication and parental connection, of course, is key to the success of this and all of our other programs. And so you will get weekly newsletters in English and in Spanish, which will share learning intentions and expectations, guiding questions, and generally giving you deep insight into what is happening at the school level and within these specialized classrooms. You're also welcome to engage in brief conversations during arrival and dismissal time. Certainly, as I've shared, written communication always works. And generally speaking, please expect all communication to be in both languages. We just want you to go on a journey of Spanish acquisition right alongside your five-year-old. Friends, thank you for your attention. And these last three slides that I will share really bring you into our current five dual language classrooms. Those that are in full swing, you will see evidence of the library with the bins in blue for English and the bins in red for Spanish. You will see the word wall with words in English and you will see word walls for la, para, la pared de palabras for the Spanish complement. You will see children engaging in classroom projects, which will highlight various Spanish speaking countries and other very, very interesting, innovative and immersive programs in these five kindergarten dual language classrooms. Now, we've learned a lot. We understand what the model is. We've taken a look at the schedule. And now we're going to have a team of folks that will be on the ready to answer any additional questions that you may have about this program. The team will include the director of the Office of Early Childhood, Ms. Kim Mara, the community and parent involvement specialist for the preschool program, Ms. Diane Milney, and last but never least, our K-12 registration lead, Ms. Nori Rojas. I will absolutely also be in the chat to ensure that we are answering any questions that you may still have regarding our very successful kindergarten dual language program. Thank you so much for your attention and talk to you very soon. Hi, and thank you for remaining with us at this time. We will now enter into the question and answer portion of our morning. So, we are on the ready and happy to engage with you via the chat. Thank you.
All right. So thank you for all of the uh, well-crafted questions. We hope that uh, our responses were uh, thoughtful and uh, detailed. Uh, we have proud to say we've answered about 85 questions and we will remain on, on until 1115 to continue to do that. Uh, should you have additional questions, you are uh, free to reach out to either uh, the director of early childhood, Kim Mara, uh, certainly myself or any of our school principals who are uh, enjoying having this dynamic program in their school buildings. Thank you so much for attending.